Saturday. Right, give me uh let me get second Corinthians chapter four, man. So we out here to tell the so-called white man that they the devil that the Bible right. speaks of. Right. Where we're out here to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you're God's chosen people. That's right. Kings, princesses, priests, the holiest of the holies, man. Everybody looks at you and wants to be like you. But nobody wants to give time and effort to find out who they truly are. Nobody wants to give a goddamn second to find out that they're God's chosen people. That's right. Give me Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 2. Bring that out, King. For what? Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1. Bring it out. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we faint not. We what? We faint not. So this is not a time to faint. This is not a time to look back in the world and have nostalgia about so-called Christmas. This is not a time to look back and think that everything is all good because nothing is good in the earth right now. That's right. Christmas is a pagan holiday. You're worshiping white Jesus thinking that you're truly serving the Lord. Right? We faint not because we want that crown of life. Right? We want the things that are not seen or things we can't even think of. The kingdom of heaven, man, that's what we want, man. But it takes rendition. Right? You have to become a new creature. You have to be made anew. You have to be pulled out of the fire to be able to find out what it truly means to be cleansed, man. Keep going, King. But have, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. So we renounce the, the hidden things of dishonesty. Right? Those hidden things that cause us to err. These hidden things that make us feel as though we're at peace and that there's safety and that there's a... Uh, uh, Humility and honesty in this world. This world is full of wickedness. It's full of lies, filth, deceit, confusion, lust, concupiscence, evil deeds. That's what this world is full of, man. Those things that are hidden, right? And the way that these things are hidden is because we hold fast to these other nations. We marry these other nations, right? Maryland got to be one of the top capitals for them interracial marriage, man. Right, give me uh, Ezra chapter 10 and go to verse 9. Because this is the reason why we're confused, man. Because we look at these people as our equal. They give us their wives. We give them our sons. Now we got a whole mixture of confusion. Mulatto damn crazy people, man. Damn mulatto heathens, man. And that's not what we're out here to promote. We're out here to promote segregation. That's right. Love your people. We're out here to promote separation, man. Right. Separate from the people who have afflicted you for 500 years, man. Right. 600 years, thousands of years, man. Right. Going back to the Greek captivity, man. Right. Going even before that, man. When we was coming out of Egypt. And they were slaying our, our women and our children in the back, man. It's a perpetual hatred from year to year to year to thousands of years. And eventually it's going to catch up with them. Because your arms are too short to box with God. That's right. As soon as we talk about interracial dating, look at what pops up, man. Separate, brother. Separate from the people who've been killing you and your forefathers for years, man. Right. Right. And she's laughing like it's a joke. Your family's blood is not a joke. Our family's blood is not a joke. Right, right. right bring that out of Ezra. Ten, 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 ten. This is the book of Ezra, chapter 10 and verse 9. Bring it out. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together. Unto Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month on the ninth day of the month. And all the people sat in the street of the house of God, trembling because of this matter. And for so, the free reign. So our forefathers trembled because of the matter that was going on. This isn't a light thing to deal with these other nations. This isn't something to bat an eye at, man. That's a trembling thing. Let somebody in my family think it's okay to marry a white woman or a white man. Or a Chinese man or a Chinese woman. That'll be the last time they see me. Because right. I'm going to lean on them, man. Right. I'm going to call them all type of MFs, dumb ABs, and right. man. Right. That's what you got to do, man. Right. You got to scare the hell out of people to know that these things are not to be bad at that. Right? Keep right. going, King. Trembling because of this matter and for the great rain. And Ezra, the priest, stood up and said unto them, Ye have trespassed. Just transgressed. Read it again. Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives. So the Lord said you have transgressed and taken strange wives. That's why our people feel like it's okay to celebrate Christmas. That's why our brothers are out here in Christmas sweaters. Right? right? Might be our brother. Right? We've transgressed against the Lord by thinking these things are light matters, man. 
That's why we got the brother up here working on the Sabbath with reindeer antlers, man. Right, right. Wow. Damn reindeer antlers. Wait, keep going, King. This is a, a pure transgression that's worthy of death, man. That's worthy of death. So we're trying to pull our people out. That's why we faint not, man. That's why we want to smoke our beards and, and, and rip our clothes. Man, we want to do all type of manner of, of hurt unto ourselves when we see our people in transgression. That's right. When we transgress, we want to hurt ourselves. That's right. Right, but the Lord says, see, not death uh, in, 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 you know, the area of your ways, the water, King. So we don't do that. But that's how we feel, man. We get conflicted, man. We get hurt feeling that type of pain, man. Keep going, King. To increase the trespass of Israel. Now therefore, make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers. And do this pleasure. And separate yourselves. And what? And, and separate, separate yourselves. The Lord said do what? And, and separate, separate yourselves. yourselves. It's a commandment to separate yourselves. That's right. It's a commandment to separate yourselves from the heathen nations. It's a commandment to separate yourselves from the people of your nation who want to be heathens, man. Right. right? It's a lot of uh, renewing of yourself, brother. Right? It's a lot of renewing. It's a lot of change that is required to truly serve the Lord. Right? It's like preseason. Nobody's uh, A1 in preseason, right. but it takes time. You got to train. You got to dribble. You got to shoot. Right. Oh, brother, I know you work. working. Give us two minutes. Two minutes. Just two. All right, one get one precept. Here, one verse. One verse. One verse. One verse. One ver you already stopped for the one verse. One verse. One verse. It's, you can do it, but you just don't want to do it, right? All right? Come on, bro. One verse. All right, brother. Right? So, uh, like preseason, man, nobody comes out in MVP shape. Nobody comes out in, in mid-season form, end of the year form. It takes time. It takes a thousand free throws. It takes a time that you got to run up and down and do back and forth in a certain time frame right. to get your body ready for the season to come. And that's what's going on now. You got to confess. And you got to uh, uh, separate from these transgressions that cause our people to err. Right. Because it's a mentality, man. You got to be humble before you can be honored, man. Give me that, uh, hold what you got. Give me Proverbs 15, uh, 33. It's a lot of humility that has to come before you can get honored, man. And that's the problem with this world. There's no humility. There's nobody who truly wants to serve the Lord with truth and sincerity. Nobody's heart is after the most high like David is. You can fake with us. We only men. We can't grant you salvation. We can't pull sins away from you. We can't forgive you of sins. We can't bring you back to life, at least not yet, if it be the Lord's will. But you faking with us. That ain't going to change nothing, man. You got to be humble in the sight of the Lord for you to gain instruction, for you to gain wisdom, for you to be honored in the sight of these dirty heathens. Right? Yeah, we're talking about you. Bring that out. Right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 15 and verse number 33. Bring it out. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. And before honor is humility. That's so right. you have to learn to be instructed. All great leaders have to be great followers before they can make that jump. Hey, brother, I know you got two minutes, brother. Give us two minutes, brother. Don't, don't even give us a no. Just come up, brother. If you already late, it don't hurt to stop and get more knowledge. Right. All right, brother. Hold on. He had a miniature. Oh, yeah, a miniature. About to be at work slurring his words. But that's the problem, man. There's no humility in this world. There's no humility. That's why nothing is honored here, man. Not the words of the Lord. Not the prophets of the Lord. Not the daughters of Zion. Not the high holy days. Not the commandments. Nothing is honored in this land called Babylon, man. Because there's no humility. It's nothing but pride. Because this nation is ran by a proud people. So our damn secondhand nature is to be proud just like them. It's like that duckling spirit. You know the duckling spirit, the first thing a bird or a duck sees, what do they think? That's their mother. Right. 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 So we look at the so-called white people and we think that's who we're supposed to be like. Imprint. Say it again? It's called imprint. Imprint, man. And that's the problem, man. That's why Ezra, through the Spirit of the Lord, told us we need to separate and confess these transgressions. Let's finish off with that. Separate yourselves from the people of the land and from the strange wives. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, As what? As, as, how the, as thou hast said, so must we do. So must we do. That's the spirit that our forefathers had. Did you know that, sister? You didn't know that? What's your nationality, sister? Give us two minutes. Two minutes. You got two minutes. Two minutes, sister. Two minutes. 
Not to find out who you are? Man. Damn, this is bad, man. This is that ho 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 spirit, man. That holly jolly Christmas, man. Right. What, what, can we help you with something? No, I'm just looking, reading it. You want to see something that we're uh, touching on? What is this right here? Slaves. Slaves. Now, do you think this is just? Absolutely, you? Not. Absolutely not. We can agree on that. Now, has anybody been punished for these actions that were done to our forefathers from your forefathers? No, but there are a lot of other people that were slaves, too. Well, we're talking we about us. Yeah, we're not we talking about to, everybody we else. We're talking about us. Has anybody no, no. been punished it's, for the actions that were done to our forefathers and foremost? No. no. Yes, but the, everybody. Bring that out. This is the book of Revelation. Chapter 13, verse 9. See, this is the out of orderness of Esau, man. Right. The daughter pulling the mother. Right. Right? Aggressive. Aggressively. Let's bring that out anyway, man. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And that's the punishment for all these nations who had a hand in our destruction. Right. Who had us calling ourselves black. Mm -hmm. Who have us thinking that this technology is God. Right. Well, we should truly be leaving the world behind. That's right. Right? Do a little snippet in there. Right, let's go to Isaiah <laughs> chapter 26 and verse 2. And uh, Zechariah chapter 1 and 2. I want uh, Zechariah 1, uh, 1 and 2 first, man. Because all this murk and grinding and, and fun that people are having is coming to a very quick halt, man. And if you are ready, you don't have to get ready. You don't have to be prepared if you're already prepared. You don't have to spend time trying to figure out what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. Because the Lord said, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Right. The Lord says, servant shall drink and you shall thirst, man. So if you're doing what you got to do, you don't have nothing to worry about. He, he wanted to know if y'all had a Bible or something he, he can get. If a brother got an extra Bible for the brother to have, uh, hand it over. Bobby Sean. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 2. You know? The Lord hath been sore displeased with your fathers. Therefore say thou unto them, thus said the Lord of hosts, turn ye unto me. So the Lord says he's been displeased with our fathers. The things that our fathers have done are the same things that we're doing in this day and age. Right? These same things are making us fall and falter and fall over and over and over and over. Right? Said the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, said the Lord of hosts. So the only way for the Lord to turn unto us is if we turn unto the Lord. Right. The only way to truly seek the Lord's face is to find out how to serve Him. Because right. if we can't serve the Lord, how are we going to turn to Him? Uh, if we keep going to these churches right. thinking that this is the way, right. we're going to continue to fill up the graveyards. We're going to continue to keep going to get these damn sex changes. Right. Right. We're going to continue in damn all manner of uh, witchcraft, getting high and drunk and doing all this crazy stuff. Right. We have to find out how to truly serve the Lord. We have to find out what it means to serve the Lord. Right, give me Deuteronomy 4 and 30, Bobby Show. Let me get that to one. What's going on, Kings? How y'all feeling? Good, good, brother. I got a quick question. I know you're on the move. I want to ask, what is y'all nationality? Nationality, I don't think we would know. We don't know. What about you? That, is that your son? No. Okay. So we out here to ask. That's the great. Oh, what's up, brothers? How y'all doing, man? Okay, what's up, brothers? How you feeling? So we out here to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they are. Because I asked you your nationality, you say, I don't know. What would you say, brother? Same. Same thing. Now, how have we been in this land 400, 500 years, and we don't know who we are? We're content with calling ourselves a color. Black, which is the color of your jacket. What color is your skin? Brown. 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 You see, we are the same people, but we give a thousand different answers to who we are. I'll ask my brother Romeo what his name is, his, or his uh, nationality, he'll say African-American. The brother the wall may say black. I may say colored a nigga a negro. Now, once we go into these scriptures right here, the same Bible that everybody has in their house, we come to find out that there's a certain people that the Lord has chose. And those people have similar characteristics to people who are standing out here today. Now, give us two minutes. We'll have y'all walking away knowing exactly who you are. You're not going to say, I don't know. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28, right? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. 
So this is Moses speaking into the Hebrews and the Israelites as soon as they came out of Egypt. What's Moses' famous words that he said to Pharaoh? Let my people go. If I'm telling somebody to let people go, are they free? What would they be considered? Slaves. Slaves. So this is after the Israelites got out of slavery, right? But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses is telling the Israelites, if you don't listen to the voice of the Lord your God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said to his chosen people, if you continue to reject these law, statutes, and commandments, that curses are going to happen unto you. Now, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? You're looking for a hole to open up, you fall into it. A rock falling out the sky, hit you in the head, now you got a knot. Now let's read three specific curses, right? And let's put a mirror in front of our faces. Now see who God's chosen people are, because they're going to fit these curses right here, right? Let's go to verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So the Lord said his chosen people are cursed in the cities. Now, I know y'all probably live in Baltimore, right? Or from, Where y'all from? North Carolina, what part? Charlotte. Charlotte. Now, if you go into the inner cities of Charlotte, how are our people living? Are we blessed or are we cursed? Like You've been in Baltimore. How do you think we're living in Baltimore? Cursed everywhere. Cursed everywhere, right? So the Lord said his chosen people be cursed in the city. And cursed should thou be in the field. And when were we cursed in the field? What'd you say, brother? The cotton field, right? We got our northern kingdom brothers, the so-called Hispanics and Native Americans. They was in the banana plantations, the sugar cane fields. Right? Can everybody say they cursed in the city and cursed in the field? Or can these nations say that they own businesses? They own the cities. Right? right? The streets and the, the buildings are named after them. Right. right? So that's one curse for the Israelites in these last days. Let's go to verse 47. Verse 47. So I said three curses. Y'all going to be like, damn, it, there's no doubt who we are. Right? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. So we didn't keep the commandments with joyfulness and gladness as we do celebrate Christmas and Thanksgiving. What's the Lord going to do? Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. No, your friend. Thy, thy enemies. enemies. So the Lord said you're going to have to serve your enemies, right? Plot to us, we got enemies. Right. Right. We're not ignorant to that. We know that, right? So let's see how we're going to have to serve our enemies. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So the Lord said you're going to have to serve your enemies in hunger. What's the last thing y'all ate? Last thing? Last thing. What did I eat? Yeah, what's the last thing y'all ate? Great, grits. Grits, right? With a so-called white man's face on it. Do we own Quaker? No. Who owns Quaker? White. Your enemy. McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, uh -huh. Burger King. Right. Esau. Esau, that's right, brother. Right? right. You got to serve your enemy in hunger. And in thirst. In thirst. Right? We don't own Deer Park, Coca-Cola, none of that, right? And in nakedness. And in want of all things. What's his enemy going to do? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So these are yokes of iron right here. So all this happened to the Israelites. Let me get you to one more curse. I know you're itching to move, brother. How did we get to this land called America? Let's read it out the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord said he's going to bring the people he just brought out of slavery back into Egypt again. Now, if Egypt is synonymous for slavery... What do you think Egypt means in this one? The same thing, right? So the Lord said he's going to bring his people back into slavery again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Now how do we get to this land called America? Ships. By ships. The same way God's chosen people went into slavery is how our forefathers and foremothers went into slavery, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The way the Lord said it's going to happen 4,000 plus years ago, it happened like that in the 1400s, 1500s, 1600s, 1700s. Thou shall see it no more again. We haven't seen our homeland since. We don't even know our homeland. Charlotte ain't our homeland. Baltimore ain't our homeland. We have no clue where we from. We don't know what we was doing before we got off those slave ships. Right? And then, once you got off those slave ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. That's why your last name may be Williams, Jackson, Johnson, Black, Brown, uh, Green. It don't even matter because it's not your last name. If you name something, that means you possess it. So your last name on your family is a possession, brother. Our last names means we are possessed by these people right here behind you, man. Right. Your enemy that the Bible said. Right. Right. You shall be sold unto your enemy for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women, 
and no man shall bite it. So we're still in this captivity today. Right. They just took the shackles off and gave us nine to fives and money with their face on it. So we are still in captivity to this day and all these curses happen to the Israelites, right? Going to your enemy for one of all things, being cursed in the city and in the field and going into slavery on slave ships. So if all this happened to the Israelites, are we black people? Who are we, brother? We the Israelites. You would be from the tribe of Judah, right? That's our nationality. So you should never, ever in your life say, I don't know my nationality. You got an identity now. Right. right? What's your name, brother? With the brother? Jay Sean. Jay Sean? And you skate? Yeah. Okay, okay. So your name is Jay Sean. But your God-given nationality will be an Israelite. Right. God's chosen people. The greatest people on the earth, brother. Right. right? The greatest people on the earth. You know, the Bible even tells you the greatest people on the earth. Right. Bring that out. This, this, this is what I like to talk about to my people. I don't want to talk about Christmas. I don't want to talk about the things that make them happy. I want to talk about the things that make us who we are. Right. The things that give us an identity, right? Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. Right. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. You know what holy means, brother? Holy means separate or set apart, right? You may have, those may be your favorite shoes. Like I'm not wearing these shoes unless I'm coming out. I ain't wearing these with a, uh, some shorts and a beater. No, nah, I'm stepping out. Give me the picture. You got the chain on, right? That's how the Lord feels about his, cho his holy people, his chosen people. We're holy. We're set apart, right? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. No, he chose everybody. Hath chosen, chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. No, everybody's equal. Above, Above all, all people. We all bleed red. Above, Above all, all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now let's think about this. You too, sister. Are you going to let a white woman out cook you? Is she going to outdress you? Is she going to out sing you? Right. Is she? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Right. She going. Look how they dress. Saggy pants with busted Adidas and stuff. Look, we get, even when we don't feel like getting dressed up. They still copy us. Now, brother, you said you skate. You gonna let a white boy come out there and do some skates better than you? Oh, no. Hell no. Right. Right, you, you do anything else? You ever play sports? Yeah. What you play? Basketball. You gonna let Bradley come out here and hit you with a crossover and make you touch the ground? Oh, no. Hell no. Right. On the, on the, on an the even deeper level, who look better? Right. Who dress better? Who smell better? Right. Who has more common sense? Right. God's chosen people, the Israelites. Now, the Bible does not That's say that. That's the part right. you forgot. The Bible does not say that at all. The Bible tells you that everybody is not God's children. Right. right? So all these curses happen to us for breaking the commandments. Doing what we wanted to do. Following our own lust. Following after these nations who had us in captivity. Teaching us that homosexuality is okay. Teaching us that, that eating raw food is okay. All these curses happen for breaking the commandments of the Lord. Now, common sense would tell us to keep breaking the commandments or keep the commandments. What? Keep the commandments, right? Right? It's, it's, it's night and day. It's simple. So, can you name three commandments of the Lord? Nah. But I guarantee you, you can name three Lil Wayne songs. You can name three Future songs. Right? You can name LeBron James' last three teams. But we can't name three commandments of the Lord. That was given to our people. Give me Deuteronomy 4 and 30. That was it. Deuteronomy? Chapter 4 and verse number 30. Right. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn... Hold on, brother. Take a fly. Take a fly. Yeah, take a fly. You an Israelite, brother. Remember that. Don't forget that, brother. You too. You too, sister. Y'all be safe out here in Baltimore. Go ahead. Go ahead and uh, keep it calm. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. So the Lord is merciful. Where is mercy that the brother was able to even receive that he was an Israelite? Right. That's mercy, man. You know, these things fall upon people's ears. Shalom, on, brother. Right? These things fall upon people's ears and they can't even receive it. They can't even taste the heavenly things that the Lord has given to them. Right, they can't even taste the roll that tastes like honey, that turns bitter. So it's merciful that the Lord has even given us this opportunity to understand. Giving us the opportunity to get ourselves and our houses in order. Right? 
But instead, we have this Barbie doll spin. The things that don't. Yeah, we go in here. Yeah, fetish stuff. Right? Y'all should have busted on What's going on, little sisters? Y'all got two minutes to find out who you are? Come on, two minutes. Y'all got two minutes. Two minutes. Come on, sister. Come on up. Come on, sister. Come on, sister. You already stopped. Two stopped. minutes. Come on, sister. Psh, let's keep going with that. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swear unto them. Brother with the black hoodie and the J's on in the bank. Do you know the covenant that was given unto our fathers? Huh? You don't give us two minutes so you can find out, brother. One verse. One verse, brother. Come on up, brother. One verse, man. We're giving them one verse, right? Come on over here, brother, so you can see the signs that we're talking about. So we are here to tell our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, who we are today. Now, how did we get to this land called America? On boats, right? Do you know that was prophesied to happen to God's chosen people in the Bible? Let's, can we read that verse to you? Let's do it. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord said he's going to bring his chosen people into Egypt again. You know the story of Moses? He parted the sea. What else? What else you know? Okay, okay. So Moses was raised up to be a savior unto his people, the Hebrews, the Israelites, right? So he told Pharaoh, let my people go. If somebody's saying, let my people go, that would mean they're not free, right? It means they're what? Let's read out the Bible. This is the book of Judah, chapter 5 and verse number 11. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them and dubbed severally with them and brought them low with laboring and brick and made them slaves. So the king of Egypt made the Hebrews, the Israelites, slaves, right? So the brother's going to start the top of Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and read it as it is and we're going to twist Egypt for what? Slavery, right? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what again? Sl Egypt is what? Slavery again, right? So the Lord will bring thee into Egypt again with ships. No, on a plane. With, with ships. ships. On a pogo stick. With, with ships. ships. So the Lord said his chosen people will go into slavery again on ships. How did our forefathers go into slavery? On ships, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So the way the Lord said it was going to happen, it happened to us, brother. Like, Thou right, like right shall see it no more again. We haven't seen our homeland since. Where, where's our homeland? Africa is a whole continent. What country we come from? Well, that was just established less than 300 years ago. So where are we from? We don't even know. We haven't seen our homeland since. You ever been to Africa? I've never been to Africa. Right. So we haven't seen our homeland. And there, once we got off those slave ships, ye should be sold unto your enemies. We were what? Ye should be sold unto your enemies. The Lord said we will be sold unto our what? Who are we sold to? I can't hear you. Why are you whispering, brother? We were sold unto our enemies, brother. Look at this sign. Would your friends do this to your father? Right. Would your friends pack your whole family in the bottom of these ships? Wake would them they up, sell right? them? You shall be sold unto your enemies. Look, this is your little brother right here in the human zoo. Wake him up. They right. throwing food at him, brother. Right. We're so quick to forget history, brother. Literally, 70 years ago, you couldn't sit in the same place as we would call our friends now. That Jim Crow, right? All these eras that we truly just got out of. Right. Some brothers lived in that era who are up here, yeah. right? You'd be sold unto your enemies. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. And no man shall buy you. So this happened unto God's chosen people, the Israelites. This happened to you, right? It happened to your forefathers. It happened to all of our forefathers. Right. If this happened to the Israelites, who would we be? Are we black people? If we were sold into slavery like the Israelites on slave ships, and nobody else on this whole earth can say that happened to their families, will we be the Israelites or will we be black people? Who would we be, brother? I can't hear you. We be the Israelites, brother. Right, right, right. All this happened to the Israelites. That's who you are, brother. Right. You are the greatest people on earth, brother. Right. But we were sold unto our enemies, brother. Right. We got to get out of that mind state that everybody is our friend. Right. We got to get out of that mind state that everybody loves us. This right. is love right here, brother. Right. Right. This right. is true love. That's, right. That's not love. You're a token to them. Right. 
If you want, I'll put the mic down and we can talk personally. But I want everybody to know, brother, you have to separate from that lifestyle. Yeah. Because this is what it brought us, man. Right. Straight all up. of these curses. Look, you ever seen that? Gator bait? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen all this. You see all of this, brother. This happened for us breaking the commandments. It's a commandment that we're not supposed to be with the other nations. Right. Did you know that? Look at that in Deuteronomy 7. It's getting spooky, brother. It's getting scary, man. It's Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse number 3. Yo. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. We can't make marriages with them, brother. We're not supposed to. That's your girlfriend, ain't it? How much longer are you going to pretend that her family didn't have your, uh, your family in, in slavery? Well, you said it's present now. Rasheem Carter, Emmett Till. All these things happen because of so-called white women. Wake them up, wake them up uh. They're not all like that. Who told you that? You can see, how do you see it, brother? You're not a token to them? You don't think she's saying why, or her father's saying, why are you with that nigga? Right, and Bill Tickie. Nigger, they ain't say it to you. He probably, he probably Let's go to Cyrac right, chapter 12. For the money, he probably played ball. The Lord told you, oh, you hoop. You hoop? Okay, okay. Brother said you might play ball because you talk. One more? Let's get one more. Here's something you shall always remember, brother. Never trust your enemies. Brother, we don't gain nothing from telling you to separate from them. Except that you can live another day. That's it. Except that you can get eternal life. Bring that up. The book of Cyrac, chapter 12 and verse 10. No. Never trust thine enemy. No, they're not all like that. Never, never trust, trust thine enemy. enemy. The Lord told you never trust your enemy, right? For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So it's for sure that iron is going to rust. You leave a dumbbell, uh, dumbbell outside in the rain, what's going to happen? It's going to rust. Eventually, y'all going to get in an argument. Mark my words. And they're going to call you something outside of your name. Has that happened? Be honest, brother. God damn, you know what? Brother, I know it happened. I know it happened, brother. Well, don't do that yet, like the brother said. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. So you got to be taking heed, brother. You got to understand we're your family. We're the ones who love you. Right. We're the ones who care for your soul. Right. We're the ones out here in this cold weather to make sure that you know that you're an Israelite and that you got to keep the commandments. What's her nationality? What's her color? So you see color, brother. You see color, brother. Brother, you see color. We all see color, brother. This is facts. There's a separation between us. Right. It's like night and day. Right. Who's the greatest people on the earth, brother? Who is the greatest people on the earth? In general. In general. Us. So yes, there's separation. Yes, there's a difference between us, brother. It's a difference. Now you telling me, you telling me you ain't gonna find a sister that look better than that. Right, right. Don't be offended at me. I'm just asking. But why? What 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 are you gaining? What do you gain from that? So other things negate thousands of years of hatred. Things that our forefathers got killed for, it all goes out the window because she was there for surgery. Who who did that to us? So if that if so so let me get to, let me ask you this: If somebody broke into your house and beat up your mom, would you want them to be in jail? Would you want them to rot in jail? People came into your home and stole your family and brought you over here and you lost all your identity. Yes, they did. Yes, yeah, she did. She is her forefathers. Right. See that? She did. She did. You don't know the story. If their ancestors did it, don't you teach your children what you know? Wake them up, uh. Don't you teach it? I have kids. 
I don't teach my kids to look up and down when they cross the street. What do I teach them? To look left and right. But it is always the case, brother. Right, right. Why, tell, me, tell me why it's not, brother. Please, tell me why it's not. Because you learn from like, other people's mistakes. Like what? It's in general. Like what, brother? Like say you're fucking bad shot someone or some shit. You fucking learn from a mistake and don't shoot on the person. Well, the Lord said it's a commandment to separate from those people and not make marriages with them. Are we better than the Lord's commandments? Are we better than the Lord's commandments or should we keep the Lord's commandments? No, 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 no. I mean, should we keep the Lord's commandments? Read that again. Read Deuteronomy 7 again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. So the Lord said we can't make marriages with anybody outside of the 12 tribes of Israel. Does that commandment still stand? Give me Hebrews 13 and 8. Does that commandment still stand? Everybody. That's what I'm saying. Somebody give this brother a Bible. Where does it say that at? Did you ever read it? Where, give me that verse that said the Lord loves everybody. Hold on. Let's get Google. Let's get Google. Read that one more time. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto thy son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Now she's scolding him. Now he's getting scolded and walked. Walked like an animal. This is, come on, brother. Come back with your family, brother, and find out who you are. Come on up, brother. I know you want to learn, brother. Come on, brother. Come on. This is breaking my heart for real, man. Brother, you are an Israelite. Man up, brother. God damn. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians 4. Let me finish that up. For they will turn away thy son from following me. They will turn away my son from following thee. Steer you away from keeping the commandments of the Lord. I know you can hear it. They want those organs, man. I know you've seen Get Out. Yeah. I know you've seen it. The brother was fighting to come back. No, 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 no. We don't want nothing that you're selling. No. No. Please, get out of here. Oh, my God. Go back to 2 Corinthians 4. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 2. But I renounced the hidden things of this honor. You, you seen that too? Yeah, you see how they just try to, they feel entitled to come up here, right, sister? Well, y'all should come up here to find out what we're talking about. Come on up. Come find out what we're talking about. Come on, yeah. Come on up. All praise to the most high. Yeah. Come find out what we up here talking about, sister. I know you got three minutes. Three minutes for completion. What time is it now, sister? 1.26. So we out here to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who we are today in these last days. Now, if I was to ask you, sister, what's your nationality, what would you tell me? Black African American. Now, do you know the title African American comes from the name of two different white people? You dropped your purse, little sister. Right? Leo Scipius Africanus. Right? Amerigo Vespucci. That's how you get African. That's how you get American. And black is the color of a uh, uh, little sister right here's jacket. Now you gave three different things, mm. we, and, and not to not to be a, a, a asshole, they all three were wrong, sister. Now it's time to find out who we are today. It's time to find out exactly what God has called us, because we can go on every day thinking that black is okay, but look what black got us. Black got us strung out on drugs, being drug dealers. Are women shaking their bottoms in videos? Are people on lean? Are people calling each other B's and N's? Right, aren't we better than that? Don't our children deserve better than that? Right. They absolutely do. So it starts with us, right? Let's go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 10 and 23. Jeremiah 10 and 23. So sister, we're telling you that you will be an Israelite, God's chosen people, the greatest people to walk on the earth, right? The cream of the crop, the A++, higher than the A+, 101%. That's what we are, right? Bring that out. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 
chapter 10 and verse 23. No. Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. So it's not any coincidence you walked up laughing at that toothless white woman. Right, the Lord brought you up here so you can find out who you are, right? Right. Oh Lord, correct me. Do what? Correct, correct me. We need the Lord to correct us, right? But with judgment. With judgment. So sister, all this right here, this sign right here is judgment and correction from the Lord. Yes, it may be harsh. These are two baby girls right here, right? My daughter and my niece. Your daughter and your niece. That's your daughter too. Shoot, my sister's kids are my kids. Right. That's right. right? That's right. If they do something wrong, do you let them continue doing wrong or do you correct them? How do you correct them? She might get a spanking. Okay, you may not beat them, but you punish them. Right? This is punishment for us breaking the commandments of the Lord as being his children. Right? And these things are called curses. Curses happen to God's chosen people in the Bible for not listening. So if baby girl right here did something you didn't like, she get a punishment. We did something that God didn't like, we get punished. Now we're gonna read one of the punishments that happened to God's chosen people. Right, let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Bring it out. Right, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. Of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 54. Bring it out. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eye shall be evil toward his brother. So the Lord put curses on our people to have an evil eye towards their brother, mm. right? Do they have evil eyes towards their brother, these white people behind you? No. He said no. No. He answered for you. No. But if, if I ask this brother right here what's going on, that could go eight different ways, can it? It sure can. Right? He even answered for us. Right? Your eye be evil towards your brother. And toward the wife of his bosom. So even towards the wife of their bosom. Don't our, don't our men do evil and wicked things to our women? Well, we're supposed to protect them. Right? Don't we uh, prostitute them out for money? Don't we beat them? Don't we do these things that we shouldn't do? That we ought not to do? Right? They don't They don't know what they be doing. They let them, they women walk all over them. Right? right? Yes, dear. I do it all with their head and their knees. Right? And there's one more, right? And toward the remnant of his children. So this Israelite man is going to have children. What do you think he's going to do with his children? These are curses. What do you think he's going to do? He might do that, but let's find out what the Lord said. Which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, Which he, he shall, shall leave. Who's known for leaving their children? What type of fathers? Huh? So what type? What type of father? What, na what nation of people's fathers? His father probably, did you grow up with your father? See? Did you grow up with your father in the house? Look, he grew up with his father. They got their great-grandfathers living in their house. The only nation of people to grow up with their children to leave are the Israelites. Right. Right? Now, how did we get to this land called America, sister? How did we get over here? How did we get to Baltimore, Maryland? What means the track? Are we from Baltimore? Are we from here? Maybe my child. Well, we may live here, but are our people from Baltimore, Maryland? Where are our people from? I can't hear you. No, the Europeans brought us over here, right? They brought us over here, right? But how did we get over here? What means of transportation? Right, like the one behind you, right? Let's read it out the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So the Lord is going to bring his chosen people into slavery again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Same way you said we just got out of uh, got out of our homeland to over here. It's the same way the Bible said it happened to his chosen people, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We haven't seen our homeland since. Right. We don't even know our homeland, right? And there... Ye shall be sold unto your enemies. We got sold unto our enemies. Who are we sold to? Yeah, we were sold to white people. Right. What the Lord called them? For by men. What did the Lord call them? Oh, Israelites. No. Oh, Salaki. Salaki. 
And there you should be sold. And there you should be sold unto your enemy. To your what? To your enemy. What the Lord called him? What are white people to us? Our enemies. That's what the Bible says. Yes, yeah, sister, you know it's true. You know it's true. Right? For what? For by men, enslaved men, and by women, enslaved women, and no man shall buy you. And we're still in this captivity today. So all these curses happen to the Israelites for breaking the commandments. Right. All these curses happen to us for breaking the commandments. So without a possibility of a doubt, we would be God's chosen people, the Israelite. What's our nationality, sister? Are we black African American or are we the Israelites? I can't hear you, sister. You gotta say that with pride. Who are we? The Israelites. The Israelites. That's right, sister. Now it gets deeper than that. What tribe do you come from? Come choose out your tribe, sister. What tribe? What tribe do you come from? Little sister, what tribe you come from? Look, 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 look. Right here on this side. On this side over here is what the so-called white man titled us. On this side is what the Lord gave us. Would you rather be titled something or given something? Right. I'd rather be given a nationality. Right. So what the Lord call you? An Israelite from what tribe? <laughs> from Judah. You'd be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. You know who else was an Israelite from the tribe of Judah? Who the world would call Jesus Christ. Right? That man, right? That's Jesus Christ? Well, let's find out. Is that really what Jesus Christ looked like? This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 13. Pick it out. And in the midst. Start at 1 and 1. Salakia. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. What? The revelation of Jesus Christ. So when you revel, uh, a revelation is revealing something, right? It's showing something. Like if I'm like, I got a prize for you, I'm about to reveal it. You're going to be like, oh. So this is a revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Which God gave unto him to shew unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So the Lord gave this to John the Revelator so that we should know things that come to pass and to reveal what the Lord looks like, right? Let's go to verse 13. Uh, jumping to verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. So the Son of Man is another title for who the world calls Jesus Christ, right? That man, right? Let's see. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had a long garment on the fine linen, right? You ever play baseball or softball? Three strikes and what? Three strikes and, and what happens, sister? What happens when you get three strikes in baseball? I don't know. You're out, right? So you had a long garment on down to the foot. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So he had on a gold girdle, like a gold belt. Who wears gold like us? Nobody, right? His head and his hairs were white like wool. What color uh, uh, um, in this picture are his hair and his beard hairs? Are those white like wool? This one right here. Is, it, is any of that white and woolly? What texture is wool hair? It's like what you would call nappy or kinky. None of that is white or woolly, so that's strike one. As white as snow. Is it white as snow? Absolutely not, that's strike two. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So his eyes, those are like blue eyes. Nothing is red about his eyes. We would say that's strike three, but we'll call it a ball so we get another at bat, right? Now it's one more, don't walk off yet. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. If we were to take off your Crocs and your socks, aren't your feet going to be the same color as your body? You're not going to have uh, purple feet and brown body. Or, or yellow feet and brown body, right? And his feet. Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? We got the picture right here. Brown, black. Brass is brown. Look, yes. this brother is holding brass. You can't tell which is his skin or the brass. So his feet like fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything in a furnace, what color is it turning? It's, turned, it's turning dark. Who is that man then? That's not the description that we read of Jesus Christ, is it? Who is that? If that's not Jesus Christ, step on that picture. Stomp on his face if that's a lie. Y'all welcome to do it too. If that's not Jesus Christ, according to what the Bible says, stomp on that man's face. Stop on the lies that our mothers, our grandmothers, our great-grandmothers, our fathers, our uncles, our aunts, our cousins, our children have been lied about. Right. Lied too. If that's right. not Jesus Christ, step on his face. 
Are people, you gonna do it? Are people scared? <laughs> Come here, you, look, 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 we'll, we'll make it easy. <laughs> If that is a lie, according to the Bible, step on that lie's face. Or does that lie have a stronghold on our people? Because mm. I and my brothers prefer truth. We prefer the actual image of the Lord rather than a lie that was set up by our oppressors. Sister, stomp on his face. Look, even the bee trying to get in on it. Go ahead and stomp on his face, brother. There you go. There you go. What'd you say, sister? We know that I'm not, I'm not going to argue with... Oh, no, we're not trying yeah, to argue. Because um, the fact is, yes, we know that Jesus was a black man. We so all, why is he we, set up as a white image then? Yeah, uh, they shouldn't have done that, but it doesn't matter what Jesus came as, black, white, pink, or yellow. Who said that? It doesn't... It, it doesn't matter because he's the savior of the world. Who's he a savior for? For the entire human Let race. Me get for the entire on. human race. Now, would you bet that hat on that? Would you bet that hat on your head? <laughs> yes. For you would? World. Well, let's see what the scriptures say. Chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers. Of everybody's fathers. Of our fathers. Our is a possessive pronoun, right? If I'm like, this is our Bible, does it belong to them? Who? But who's speaking? Let's find out. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, who he slew and hanged on a tree. Him of God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. Wait, a savior, right? But to who? For to give repentance to Israel. He's a savior for who? To Israel. To who? To Israel. Who is Jesus a savior to? According to the Bible. Uh, Read it again. Read it again. Who is present? Who is present day Israel? To Israel. To who? To, to Israel. Israel. Who did God raise up Jesus to give repentance to? A savior. To who? To the human race. Is that what the Bible says? To the human race. Is that what the Bible we, says? We can't, we have to look spiritually. We have to look If you look spiritually, then you would know that Jesus is not coming for the human race. Right. You don't read the human race in the Bible. Right. That's coming. a white ideology. That's that ideology that we're holding on to. Right. Now, according to the Bible, who did the Lord come and give salvation and repentance to? He came to seek Read and save those that are lost. To who? To Israel. Who is salvation for, sister? And who is the present day Israel? Who is the present People day Israel? People are here, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native oh. American. That's who salvation is for. Bring, bring that up. <laughs> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son that shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. Right? This is the madness that America has brought our people, man. This is a, this is the absolute worst a, a state that our people have been in. Right. At least in our other captivities, we knew who we were and right. we knew who our enemies were. Right. But now we're just blinded and, and brainwashed and lost. Wait, let me get 2 Corinthians 4 and go to verse 3. Yeah. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. So the gospel of the Lord is hid unto them that are lost. The gospel of the Lord is hid right. unto them that do not want to come out and think spiritually like the sister said. Right. They don't want to come out of being in America looking at these nasty faced dogs, man. Right. They want to stay here. They are comfortable in prison. They're comfortable in captivity. This place is not meant to be comfortable. This place is to make you bethink yourselves and search and try to find the Lord right. so that you could be saved. So we don't have to look at these Edomites with these blue hats on backwards. Right. Looking like, damn, uh, right. honey, I shrunk the kids. Right. Right. right? We're just sick of this place, man. Everything about America makes me want to throw up. Right. You got red forehead white men right. looking goofy. Everything is just off about America. This is exactly why we need to get out of here, man. Look, you even got our brothers over here raging for white people. 
Everything is so confusing, man. Man, if it wasn't a sin, I'd rip my beard off and shave my head and jump in that water, man. Right, right. Damn, I hate America, right? Keep going. And who, the God of this world, have blinded the minds of them which believe it not. So the God of this world blinded the minds of them who believe not, who truly feel like they're comfortable in captivity, who truly feel like this is their rest. And the more you feel like this is the rest, the stronger the delusion is and stronghold is to get up off of you, man. The stronger that stronghold is until death and destruction come to you, man. Until the bombs drop on your head. Until everything that you love crumbles and dies before your face, man. But those who serve the Lord, we're going to find eternal rest. That's right. right. They'll be weeping, but joy coming from the morning, man. Right. It's only going to endure for a second, man. Right. We at the bitter part, man. We waiting for the climax to happen, man. Right. We waiting for all hell to break loose, That's man. Right. So that we can dance in the blood of the wicked. So that we can have them as servants and slaves. So that we can truly be at our first estate. Because we are those angels that fell. We're not no, it ain't no false fallen angels. We're those angels who fell from the first estate. We're the true princes of the power that fell, man. So until we get right, the more we're going to be afflicted and hated. Right, bring that out, King. God. This is the book of Luke, chapter 18 and verse 7. Salakia. And shall not God avenge his own elect? So the Lord is coming to get his elect. Right, 12,000 out of the 12 tribes of Israel. Look at this, man. What is this world coming to, man? You're a freak. I hope you fall in the water and drink a gallon of it, man. Right? right. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? You're not crying unto the Lord. You may not be part of the elect. You may be a, a chocolate-covered Edomite, a chocolate-covered Moabite, right. a so-called Hispanic Elamite, man. Right. Whatever the hell you are, man, you, you're not an Israelite, man. All Israel are not of Israel, man. Right. That's the problem, man, right? Though, though he bear long with them? So the Lord is bearing long with us. He's seeing the abominations we're going through. He's seeing the suffering. He's seeing brothers lose their jobs, brothers lose their house, brothers go through sickness, money problems. He's seeing these things that he's bearing long with us, man. But you got to be tried of the Lord to see if you are truly like fine gold, to see if you are truly able to be revived, uh, uh, re uh, furnished, shall I say. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. The Lord is coming like a thief in the night when you least expect it, right? When you are caught in your sick, dark, twisted ways that you think no man sees, right? These things are coming. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? When the Son of Man cometh, is he going to find faith, right? Faith is what's going to sustain you in these days, right? Hey, the worm and Jonah, the worm and Jonah, the worm and Jonah. The worm! Send that brother up here, man. He making too much of a mockery on the side, man. Right. Come up here, brother. Come on, brother. You over there raging, making the scene. Come up here and get edified. Right. Come on, walk him up. Walk him up, man. Walk him up. The worm and Jonah, walk over here so he'll come with you. Walk, come on, walk over here. The wicked flee. Wow. wow! Awful, atrocious, abominable. What? Sickening. With that, the next mighty brother is coming up. Come, Yashala. Come, Yashala.